Welcome back to Selected Solutions Channel and in this video we are going to simulate a hydrologic model in Hake HMS 4.13 and the uh, result uh, flow hydrograph will be run in HECRA 6.7 so to start with we are going to make a folder for our Hake HMS and here it should contain the projection file and the uh, terrain file and first we have to create a new project in H H HMS we name it as tutorial here and we find the location of our folder and then we uh, create a DC model yeah and see there's no data yet in our terrain so we uh, create a projection so from our folder there is a projection we made and so we browse it and then set the projection and after that we can now load our terrain so we go to the component terrain uh, manager and then we browse on our terrain so this is a tif file oh terrain and we click here the terrain and then basin we click on the terrain that we have loaded now we have already the terrain and after that we can have pre-process just like on the previous subversion so we pre-process the drainage and after that we can now uh, the project point we can create a project point so we view zoom so that our breakpoint will truly intersect to our uh, to our uh, drainage so we name it as bridge and then we can now delineate so delineate okay delineate so that's it so we successfully delineated our watershed so this is now our watershed sub basin only one sub basin since it is uh, 11 kilometers square per sub basin and so we can right click on this and we turn off some of the features we wanted to see only the uh, delineated sub basin and so we are ready to uh, put other parameters like uh, we can put our uh, rainfall data so we click on the time series uh, manager so we load here our uh, rain <coughs> rainfall so depending upon the number of uh, in here we have a one hour uh, data one hour correction data and uh, this is the time of collection to the end of the data where the rainfall stops and so now we are ready to uh, enter the rainfall data that we have collected so go to your excel and then copy your data your rainfall data in mm so this is our rainfall data it can be graphically uh, seen and so now we are now ready to add our uh, control so so how how long will <coughs> we are going to uh, end this simulation and uh, we retain the same uh, starting time but the end time end date uh, can be flexible or it can be uh, longer so here we put a one day longer from our observed data so we can already add a add a component uh, we have to add our uh, initial <coughs> initial assumptions of the curve number and of course the lag time 
but this can be changed during the <coughs> calibration. So we add uh, meteorologic data. So we'll go to meteorologic and reset this uh, to set to default. Uh, so now so what will happen if we put that to no we just return later so we can now set first uh, first one so we to compute right click and then compute. so we can see here there's an error we're in our meteorologic model so we go back to our components on the meteorologic model and we set this uh, we have not set our gauge on hydrograph so we run again okay so we go here at the upper click that so it's now uh, simulated and we can now view our uh, results here so basically we see here the data we have uh, provided uh, input data here it's so rain and, uh, and our corresponding uh, discharge hydrograph so in here our discharge simulated discharge which we are going to copy and then loaded it to our HEC class for hydro hydraulic modeling so HEC HMS is our hydrologic modeling and uh, here in uh, class is our hydraulic modeling so basically we copy just copy this and then we open another a new project in class so we open our class 6.7 version which is the latest version of class and so we save our new project so we Okay, and be sure it is a uh, metric unit. If you are in the, if you are using metric data, and so we now go to the projection for our projection. So the same as the projection we used in the HEC HMS, we also use that here in HEC class. Then we create new class terrain or load our terrain. Uh, we have a terrain here this one click ok then we set this precision to 1 over 64 or 0 1.5 percent precision so just wait for a while for loading and after successfully loading we just close this one And we are ready to create our geometry so we zoom to our specific project basically this is a connection of uh, the watershed we have delineated in HEC HMS uh, in here uh, it is already the uh, floodplain area so this is below our HMS delineated. So this is the to the then filing to the geometry. Then we just click OK and then we set this mesh. Uh, since it is too many, uh, we lessen just for the purpose of this uh, tutorial. Okay, 50 by 50 mesh for faster simulation so that we can uh, easily see the results uh, during this simulation stage so after this we edit our geometry <coughs> and go to the to the flow areas and we put our uh, inflow so this is where our 
inflow discharge from HIC HMS is loaded. So we can uh, we will upload that later in the STD flow data entry. And then we also put a uh, normal that for our outflow so that this 2D area will not become a dump or storage but the water will just freely come out from the 2D flow area okay we save this and we open we go to our geometric data edit uh, you cannot see the geometry we created in the rust mapper so we load it here we open and we save this so we proceed to our unsteady analysis so here we load our uh, first we set our outflow normal that we set here to 0 0.01 but that can be computed later or we have we had a pre we had a video previous video on how we calculate the slope so in here we load our inflow uh, hydrograph so this is the hydrograph we have copied from the HIC HMS model so we set our slope here still to 0 0.01 click ok so we save this and steady so any file name you want and click ok uh, we go back to view our hydrograph so graphical view of hydrograph so we can we'll notice that this is the same from our of course discharge from heck hns so we save this data and we can now we can now run our uh, steady flow in this we can also set the uh, initial elevation of our 2D. So we run our simulation, but we have to set first the initial condition time. Since we put to initial condition, which is 0 0.2, we put 2 hours. And here, the current, set the current. This is to have a, a stable simulation or lesser uh, lesser error from the accumulation of uh, volume so we save our uh, run save our plan and then we set here our starting date so similar with our starting date and time of the data and we can also set we set also the same uh, ending date to uh, to avoid error so it's now running I just wait for several minutes okay so our simulation is done so we can now uh, see the result in our ECOS so we go to our results see that it and of course we can animate this click in the upper right corner click on this uh, button hit so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe share and comment your uh, inquiries in the comment section